Hi there! It's Lua again, aka Jachinoy. For today's video, I'm going to show you an alternative from the Fendi baguette bag that is very famous right now. And I'll give you an affordable alternative. Probably you can call it uh, a dupe, but it's not a replica. It's very, very nice and I'm so happy that I can share this to you because it's my first time to share such things so if you like uh, luxury bags or other alternative bags and you know some kikai stuff then keep on watching okay hi there my name is lou aka jachinoy okay it's my first time in the longest time again to film like a sit down video with you guys because uh, i have time right now and i'm just so excited because i scored a very nice bag and if you're asking me Lou why are you still buying a new bag when it's COVID yes well I know right but the thing is here in Singapore it's already phase 3 and we can already go out even though there are some restrictions but enough about that I'm pretty sure you click this video because you would like to know what is an alternative on the Fendi baguette bag if you don't know what I'm talking about, here's the, the picture of it. The Fendi baguette bag is a kind of a vintage thing. It has been with Fendi for quite some time. And I know they have like sort of a release, uh, like, a, like a refurbished, uh, refurbished uh, bag. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not a refurbished word. But what I mean, they have introduced it again in the market. And that is becoming very famous. And I like the look of it but i don't like that it's cloth it's just um yeah here's the picture of it it's like a louis vuitton with a lot of monograms but that one there's a lot of f on it and it's a brown hue and then the not so nice one that you know there's two other things that uh, two things that i don't like first it's a cloth so i'm like thinking it's going to be hard if there's got stains or what and i always you know spray alcohol on my bags on my items so that it will be sanitized and the second one is the price i check it on the fendi website and oh my gosh here in singapore it's more than four thousand sing dollars and i think we don't have it even on online i saw it from carousel and somebody is even selling you know lesser than four thousand sing dollars and i don't have that kind of money even though i have i will not put it on that kind of a baguette bag so i'm like thinking uh, i hope i can get you know a baguette bag it's okay for me it's not a fendi but i would like to get a better one so the better one i got is on my Yes, it's on my uh, profile photo. Yes, from Guess. If you would think about it, Guess has been in the industry for quite some time. I remember when it was like, I think 80s or 90s, when we have a lot of Guess. And in the Philippines, we have a lot of Guess there and it's very, very famous. And we have a lot of Guess stores in Singapore. And then recently, we went to Marina Bay Sands. And just to let you know, Marina Bay Sands stores on a Friday night, they close very early. It's because probably it's COVID and then there's only a few shoppers coming. And then, of course, we don't have tourists because Singapore is, you know, close to uh, close all borders to, to other countries, right? So I got super shocked that the guest shop there, I think in B1 or B2, it's already closed. But on the mannequin, I saw a baguette bag and I love it. So... I wasn't able to check because like what I said, the guest store there is closed. So after a few days, I checked it and I went to Boogies. It's inside Boogies Junction here in Singapore. And I found it and I was so, so happy. So I'm going to show it to you. Of course, I already unboxed it, but I'll show it to you what's exactly how a guest bag, a guest bag looks like i don't even know if, some, if people still buying guests right now but but i do uh, i've bought some in the past but i already gave it to my family members so this is my first time again to have a guest bag so as you can see they have their own uh cloth bag dust bag yeah and I'm in front of my mirror, so that I hope it's just showing the true color. So here it is. Okay, it's the other way around. Here it is. Wow, it looks like the Fendi baguette bag, right? So I'm just going to get the, what do you call this? The receipt and what. 
So it's really, really looks like the Fendi baguette bag. Okay, sorry. So I'm just, I'm just showing you something. So as you can see, like the Fendi, right? They have a F here in front, but this one it has a G. See? It's plastic and it's color red. Really, really nice for Chinese New Year because Chinese New Year is coming, you see? And it has this, I believe, silver hardware. It has a guest embossed there. I really like it. Um, the, what do you call this? It's, uh, it's kind of a quilted and then it has exposed red thread on a red uh, material. This one is in PU when I asked the lady. And it looks like this with the side... Um, with the side silver D ring and I'll show you at the back and the nicest part is it has a slit at the back because the Fendi baguette bag there's none so it has this you know uh, a closure and the inner lining it's you know it's beige with the guest logo I really like it and the funny thing even though it's like a, a baguette right it even got feet silver feet it's just so so cute right silver man yeah it says it's silver right so i'm gonna I'm, I'm just going to show you what it looks like okay this one it comes with a short strap which okay let's measure it for you i'm going to show you share with you all the details okay probably okay i'll uh measure the strap itself the short strap is about 40 cm okay 40 cm so it has this lobster claw silver lobster claw that i can just hook it here let's just hook it and i know that uh, fendi baguette bag uh i saw some reviews hang on i saw some reviews that it's tight under under uh under their uh shoulder but this one is just so nice you see it's just so nice later i'm going to show some mod shots so i'm going to show let's measure the drop length okay because probably you're telling me oh Lou, i'm a big girl or what okay so let's just see the drop length is about 19 cm okay so me i'm a big girl as well i'm already i'm 5'5 five five in height about what is that in 163 cm 165 something like that so it's really really nice but i'll show you what's inside so does you know you tell me is it really like looks like the fendi baguette bag at least it's not a replica it's kind of a it's kind of a dupe like a duplicate but i really like it and here in singapore it's it's about chinese new year and all our bags here all the items are on sale and if you know me, I like bargains. Why would you pay retail price when you can have it in sale price, right? So let's open it. So I haven't used this yet. So I'm just showing you the review on what it looks like later. I'm going to really use it. So this is what it looks like. So it has this silver, silver uh, magnetics that you can clasp. There is something written here but it's letters and numbers yeah and it looks like this and it's really nice you can see i really like the material and at least i can alcohol it afterwards so it looks like this okay this one it has a included long strap just like the fendi baguette so this one i already put there's a lot of holes here so i already place it on the shortest strap and just to let you know I did it on like a crossbody, which later I'm going to show you, and it hits nicely above my upper hip. But it's kind of weird because this is the the strap, right? And it's, you know, it's overlapping this, uh, what do you call this? This uh, lobster claw. But anyways, yeah, enough about that. So it has a long strap and a short strap, okay? What else? So... Um, so this is the inside. I hope you can see it properly. So it's beige, just like the, just like at the back. So it's so it has a zipper here, silver hardware. Oh, got this silica. Yes. So it looks like this with small small uh, guest logo, and what else? So it has this uh, tag, that uh, guest tag. Probably you cannot see it in the light and then at this other side it has card slots so one two three four you can put your credit cards here your business cards and 
yeah this is the whole inner lining is really so nice and this is the um, the tag as well it says here the style is qg758019 color cherry this is group bright side so this is the guest tag and this is what it looks like actually i'm checking uh, online i don't think so we have a guest website here in singapore but i i checked this um what they call this style name and i found it at the guest.com.my meaning uh, in malaysia and it shows there at the malaysian guest website this is what you call a bright side shoulder bag so so it looks like this but i don't see it proper uh i've seen uh the other material like the leather material in the zalora website but yeah you have to physically you know go to a shop so let's measure it because you're going to think oh what's a measurement Lou? so this side it's about this side is about 27 cm so this is the width correct and then the height is about it's about 17 cm the height and the width the thickness is about let's just say here the width is 4 cm so it's really nice it's kind of a slim bag but you can put a lot of stuff in it and this one i bought it just yesterday only this is only 80 singapore dollars so that is very very that one is a very fraction of a cost versus a fendi baguette bag that is more than four thousand sing dollars right and the lady from the guest boogie shop said that this is already a very good discounted price because i think this is already 40 to 50 percent off she said after this chinese new year we're going to put it on regular price and i'm pretty sure that it's like i think more than 120 dollars so yes that's good and of course uh i can have capita stars as well so i just Took a photo of it and i will gain stars as well so you're going to ask me so lou let's check what can i fit so let's check what can we fit on this bag so um, let me get my everyday stuff okay so almost every day i'm just picking up my my kid from school so most important is my wallet i believe this is a louis vuitton um emily wallet right with rose ballerine color so this is uh what it looks like if you want a review do let me know so i'll put it here and then this wallet is kind of tight even though there's a coin purse i still have a separate coin purse this one is a very nice find as well i bought it together with my guest uh bag this one is from gold lion it's a coin purse it's color purple and it looks like this it looks like the dupe of the hermes uh bastia right so i'm going to do a review as well on that but yes this is my coin purse what else and then my louis vuitton clay clay where all my house keys mailbox keys are this one is my tissue paper my hair tie like that what else and of course i got wet wipes too and then i got my alcohol spray okay and then like that so it looks like this it's all flat and it's good this is my normal day-to-day that I put and then I have a Oppo cell phone this one is uh this one's kind of uh, big because this is Oppo Reno Pro 4G something like that so going to measure it so this is about 16 cm so that this is really a pretty long cell phone and it can fit at the back even though my case it has a ring on it it can put you know it can be placed at the back so let me see so it looks like this yes so nice so i can always also uh, fill it up uh, full uh, fill it to the brim but this is my everyday that i always use so yes it can fit uh, a lot of things then i like what i said i haven't tried it uh personally out yet but i noticed that the magnet because of course this one is heavy right it will not you know clasp 
uh, it will not meet the magnets automatically. You need to feel it and then you need to match it. But I don't think so. That's a problem with me because yeah, it's kind of secure as well. So like, like what you can see, this one is not closed. This one is closed. So let's just close it. Yes. So this is how it looks like. So you tell me, is it really like a dupe for the Fendi baguette bag? So this is from Guest, $80 only. So if you are here in Singapore or in other countries, please do get it. And you're going to think, wow, red, blue, it's very, it's a shocking, it's a shocking color. Actually, it's not. It's a really good red. I'm in front of my sunlight. I hope you can see it and it's really really nice red because me i always wear dark colors and this one is my pop of color you see so i it can fit nicely on my arm you see with very nice space underneath my armpits and is very okay now i'm standing up so at least at least you can see how it looks like so isn't it nice for me, it's super, super nice. Okay, I don't have enough <laughs> vocabulary words, but it's really, really pretty. And it's also lightweight, so this is how it looks like. It's, it's just so pretty, man. It's just so pretty. So you can put it at the crook of your arm. So let's just... Yes. Okay, so you can put it at the crook of your arm. So it looks like this. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Especially if you get your ang paus or just going out or just doing errands or it can be for uh, casual and for dating like that. Very, very good looking bag. Okay, now I'm showing you the backpack, uh, the crossbody style. So it looks like this. So this is on my on the tightest not tightest one it's on the shortest uh setting so the the what do you call this the the strap is already overlapping the other one so if you are really taller than me you have no problem because this is the shortest setting and it hits nicely on my yeah, upper hip it looks like this or you put it on front like this side this then as you can see it's very easy you get your cell phone then normally you get your your easy link cards or what then you get your spray it's very easy access and that's it and then you put back again your cell phone you are already hands-free so let's try this side hmm. You can also wear it like a shoulder bag with a long strap. It's very nice. Of course, this one is about my, my hip. So this one looking good, right? So yeah, so normally uh, I use my bags uh, crossbody because I like it to be, you know, uh, hands-free. Especially me that I have kids, I've got errands to do. Really so nice. So yes, I believe that is it. This is my short review and I'm telling you, this is even way better from the Fendi baguette bag if you are on a budget. At least you are not buying a, a replica or um, an imitation because this one is a true guest bag and if you are... You know, if you are looking for a baguette bag and you cannot afford that Fendi or the other brand, why not try Guess? You see? So I hope guests knows that I'm promoting them, but but this one they nailed it. And just to let you know, guys, that's why even though it's Chinese, uh, it's Chinese New Year, right? They have a lot of sales. Actually, all of their items is on sale, of course, uh, except for the new arrivals. And they have a lot of this color cherry. So they have a smaller version of this one as well, even with small uh, coin purses. They even have a backpack on this, and it's really nice and. I'm pretty sure even though I, I go out, I sanitize it, I'll just do, you know, I'll just place alcohol on my head and put like this. So, yes, that's about it. This is my final review of the Guess Shoulder Bag Bright Side. So, if you like this kind of review, Singapore Life, especially bags, just like, 
and subscribe and click the bell button beside the subscribe button so you'll be notified whenever I upload new stuff from your gadgets and let me know guys what is your other you know baguette bag alternative and if you're going to buy this this very nice uh, guest shoulder bag the bright side okay and keep safe guys always wear your mask okay keep safe and until next time I see you on my next video bye bye